So I got my uh, uh, paint palette, some fine paint brushes, since this one is hopefully going to be pretty detailed, and uh, my round boar bristle brush. All right, so uh, let's get started. And I hope everyone is having a good day so far. Just a second. What? Oh, yeah, I forgot. There's like a secret that I can't tell yet. It's going to go up on a... All right, there's a video that you guys got after this uh, that I think is going to be pretty interesting. I wasn't planning on giving anything away, but I won't. All right. Uh, so, yeah, let's get to it. I have it right here. I'm going to flip the camera around. I already started with the sketch and a little bit of the painting. Like here. Uh, but, yeah, I guess we can get to it. And feel free to ask me any questions or anything like that. All right. So, I think I'm going to start with... Uh, oh, excuse me. <laughs> Every time. Maybe I should stop doing these live feeds uh, after <laughs> after supper. I always get a bit gassy. Hi from Ontario. Hello, Stephanie. Greetings from Clay County, Missouri. Hello, Brian. Greetings. Hey, Matthew. Welcome to the live. Uh, not not Doodle Saturday, actually. It's uh, Doodle Sunday. Hopefully. I don't think I'm going to run out of white paint this time. I have a uh, tin of it. Not, not a tin. A can. A giant can of white paint. So, yeah. I'm going to start off with... Uh, this dollar paint. so yeah i'm gonna start off with uh this dollar store brush which actually works really well i don't know if they actually sell these anymore but uh definitely definitely would recommend getting it if they still do it's like a decently good quality brush considering you know it's from the dollar store all right uh said it's uploading now how's the auction going high from south carolina Oh, let's see. Yeah. All right. Uh, the auction is going really well, actually. Uh, and if you're if you guys are interested, it is still up. A lot of my paintings are still there and everything is going relatively cheap. So you won't have to worry about everything being super expensive. Also, uh, I think I think it's coming up relatively soon. When was it again? Uh, April 24th, I believe. Can't really remember, but. That's fine. I'm just adding right now uh, some really quick highlights. Uh, so I'm using the white paint just around where I think the light would especially hit. Uh, is that a Kodiak bear? Uh, I think it is, yeah. A Kodiak brown bear, I believe. If that's what it's called. That, that's what the little uh, description was. Uh, I only use a reference for... What's it called? For the sketch, everything else is uh, improvised, but I believe it's a Kodiak brown bear. It is the 24th. All right. Well, thank you. Now I know. So uh, if you want to, or I guess the 24th is the last date of it. Love the eyes. Well, thank you. It's too bad I didn't do them on camera. I wasn't actually expecting uh, to do a live feed today, but I'm glad I did. It's been a while. I think it's been a, a week and a little bit. So right now I'm uh, just mixing. Let's see, the line painted on me or yours as well. Uh, yes, all of the all of the paintings there, I believe, are mine. Uh, the line on the mirror, that's actually my first painting ever. So uh, if you're interested, well, feel free to bid on it. So some of my first paintings I've ever done are in that auction, and they're all original. None of them are prints. Although they, <laughs> I uh, should probably start making prints. I keep saying I'm going to, but then I forget. I need to talk to Josh about that because he makes prints all the time. Or as far as I know, he does. I uh, uh, didn't look too far into it. All right, so I made an interesting grayish color, and I'm just going to use it for some of the nose. And uh, what I thought would be interesting, so this is going to be the bear. Uh, he's going to be black, white, and gray, and the background is going to be like a strong red, so it stands out a lot. Uh, I think that's an interesting technique uh, when you use red to make black and white stand out like this. So yeah, 
Let's let's do that. All right. I'm glad. Uh, oh, let's see. It doesn't have your name. I think Cassidy needs to add your name as well, as you have quite a following, as you should. Well, thank you. Uh, yeah, I didn't. Uh, I didn't request for them to add my name, which I probably should have. Uh, but that's okay. Most, if not all of the paintings, I think if any of the paintings are like animal paintings like this, you can almost guarantee they're mine. Uh, just make sure you can see the little signature in the bottom just to be sure. The only one that I know doesn't have a signature is the lion, I believe. The whale has a signature. It's actually really big. So if you look uh, up on Kastner Auctions and you see a whale, that's a, that's a big painting. I think it turned out pretty pretty good. Let's see. It kind of reminds me of the original Smokey Bear, who was uh, found during a forest fire. Oh, I didn't realize Smokey Bear was an actual bear. That's kind of cool. Uh, any idea what kind of car you're going to use your proceeds for? Um, You know what? No, actually. Honestly, I think my what my car money is going to go towards is... Uh, when I, when I can, when I can drive is, uh, fixing up a car and making, uh, making my car look really cool. Oh, thank you very, uh, thank you very much, Jim. All right. So I am, I think I'm going to do some, uh, black actually. Well, maybe I can use up, uh, this gray a bit more like so. I think, uh, as soon as this auction is over. I'll update you guys on the car situation, and uh, when I when I eventually uh, do, what was I saying? Something about the car. Oh yeah, eventually I'm gonna make a video of me driving the car that you guys helped pay for. I think that's gonna be really cool. Oh, out of focus a bit. That's a little annoying. All right. So a little less people than usual, but that's because my dad's video is going up. So uh, completely normal. Oh, thank you very much, Matthew. Put my uh, that's my Instagram uh, up there. So if you want to, if you want to check that out, that's where I post most of my paintings. Uh, most of the paintings that don't get onto YouTube go onto uh, go onto Instagram. Speaking of Instagram, I'm getting quite a lot of notifications. So I guess that means you guys are starting to follow me. Thank you. All right. Oh, thank you very much, Brian Nelson. Gas for the car fund. Yeah, actually, I think <laughs> I need to start figuring out how to get a, I get more videos out so I can actually afford to, <laughs> to drive around. Gas shouldn't be too bad. I guess we'll see. All right. Just in here i feel like it would be filled in i still do not see his prints on the auction site um okay so first none of them none of them are prints i don't know what the problem could be i actually never looked up my paintings on the auction site i just assumed they're up because people were talking about them on the live uh hmm that is odd that's too bad well hopefully uh that gets sorted out um Oh, it's with um, it's with a bunch of artifacts actually. So if you see um, unless you already knew, but if you see uh, an auction that has a bunch of my dad's artifacts that he's selling in it, my paintings are also in there. Search in the search engine under Archgold. Okay, I didn't realize that's how it worked. Uh, yeah. So I guess just do that, and you should be able to find it. I'm not going to pretend like I know what I'm talking about because I absolutely do not. All I know is uh, the date of the auction and what's going to be in it. Kind of. All right. Just filling in the nose a bit, as you can probably tell. It's kind of weird how fast this weekend went by. Really fast. It's almost hard to believe it was a weekend. Uh, well, still glad I got a break. 
All right. Uh, I accidentally covered up a lot of those highlights. So I'm going to get more in there. Uh, to inquire about Stephen's work, contact our Archbold blogs at Outlook.com. Thank you very much, Matthew. Yeah. So uh, if you want a commission or anything like that, just uh, message me there. Yeah. Oh, and by the way, I do commissions uh, for people. Oh, obviously, it's not like I'm doing commissions for animals. Well, sometimes I do commissions of animals, but yeah. All right. I am. I'm going to switch to a different brush because I want it to be a bit more fine. And also, this picks up a lot of paint, and that's not exactly what I want. So, uh, just going to add a little more of this gray. I actually kind of like how it looks right now. And what I'm going to do, and this is going to be infuriating for you guys, or some of you, because I know it is, uh, bugs me a little bit, but I'm actually using a pencil crayon to scratch some of that paint out of the way. Like so. I'm sorry. It's it's annoying for me, especially. All right, I am. I don't know where I put that, actually. I need a fine, a fine tip paintbrush, but... I don't know where I am, where, here it is, all right, I wasn't very descriptive when I was talking, it's, uh, hiding underneath that, uh, so are you up for the new adventure, Melissa, oh, yeah, can't talk about it, I can't, but I'm pretty sure, well, I guess if my mom answers, that means yes, uh, we'll have to see, at the beginning of the live, if you guys are here, uh, I was told specifically to be careful of talking about that, or not to talk about that. <sighs> so that'd be kind of bad if I if I did. I think the video is up now. Uh, so yeah, uh, you can get. Oh, well, it might have gone up. I can't tell. Uh, YouTube's kind of funny when you're uploading videos. It, it'll say processing, and then. Uh, Sometimes it goes up and sometimes it doesn't, but so far, as far as I know, it's up. All right, so what am I going to do? How am I going to fix that? By using oil pastels, of course. That's how I get a temporary line on my paintings. Uh, whoops. Well, immediately dropped it. Uh, that's how I get a temporary line on my paintings. Uh, so it looks good during the process and I don't feel a bit discouraged. Whenever, uh, whenever a painting isn't going to plan, or whenever it's uh, not as good as I originally hoped it would go, <laughs> which I know is completely normal, you have to trust the process, but I always get really discouraged, and that's actually how most of my projects never reach YouTube, uh, is because I never really finish them. So I think I need to start getting into the habit of just to continue uh, working on a project, even though I don't like it. Uh, the reason being, uh, the reason I brought that up, actually, because I'm getting a little bit frustrated now. Uh, not super frustrated, but kind of annoyed that it, <laughs> that I uh, immediately on the messed up the highlights. So I think I'm going to go for like big blocky highlights at first. Like, where's the light coming? Oh, that's the problem. Didn't establish where the light's coming in from. All right. This way. All right. Uh, last time I actually reviewed the live feed after I was done with it, the microphone sounded a bit weird. So uh, feel free to let me know if that is the case right now. Hopefully it isn't. I do hope it isn't. But if it is, uh, yeah, let me know so I can... Try to fix it. Let's see. Hi from Australia. What time is it in Australia right now? Probably uh, earlier in the morning, I would assume. Do you guys have like the opposite or not opposite? You're like a day ahead of us. When you're finished with the bear, you should add some vague smoky shadows to the background to give it a wildlife feel. 
Yeah, that is a good idea. Oh, 11.45 a.m. All right. So it isn't like the complete opposite of the day, like not 24 hours difference. But yeah. All right. That's kind of cool. It's 7.30, uh, 7.40 now for us. I probably shouldn't have put my uh, live feed up at the same time as my dad putting his video up. Because that probably caused a bit of problems. Hopefully it didn't, but you know. Oh, by the way, uh, yeah. By the way, we are. I am going to be finishing that bird on the saw. Maybe tomorrow, but probably uh probably on Thursday. I'll have to schedule it. Uh, and if you haven't seen it already, I actually painted a. A blue bird, not like an actual blue bird. I don't, I don't know what, I don't know what I, I don't know what kind of bird I painted. One week, uh, you, Dad, and Josh all went live at the same time. Yes, I believe that is, I believe that is right. I think I try really hard not to go on the live while everyone else is because uh, everyone has their uh, viewers go down. Well, except my dad. Uh, maybe Josh, too. I guess it's not that big of a deal. But I still... Uh, oh, I think Internet's the biggest problem, actually, when I do that. But either way, I try really hard not to go at the same time. All right. I have a bright uh, grayish color. I'm going to have little dots on his nose. Because bears tend to have those little little dots. All right, so what I'm doing now is just filling in this area of his face so I can later come in and add detail. But right now, it just has to be one flat color. Like so. And um, I am, uh, again, I am using wall paint. So it might be affecting it a little bit, like the amount that it's spreading right now. I don't think it is. It's kind of, kind of hard for me to tell. All right. I feel like uh, I feel like it's turning out pretty good uh, so far. Not a whole lot has been happening. Oh, maybe a woodpecker. Yeah. Uh, I think I'm guessing you're talking about the the bird. It kind of looks like a woodpecker. I can't really tell. Looks really cool. Thank you very much, Joe. I'm glad you think so. I think it's turning out all right so far. So my plan right now is to uh, fill this area in and then uh, add dark highlights or well, dark lines for the hair. Because usually, well, I, I guess it would be better if I, I did this, added dark and then added light on top of that again to create like a layered effect. And we'll see as it goes. I'm just kind of winging it so far. So I'm not used to doing super realistic paintings, except that uh, parrot I did a little while ago. That one was all right. Pretty realistic, I think. All right. So I'm going to add a bit of gray or darker gray, I should say. That rhymed. A bit of darker gray in here or the shadows underneath his nose. Like so. All right, maybe it's a new species. Yeah, well, maybe it is. It's a, it's a whatever you wanna call it. It, it kind of looks like a lot of different species of birds. I'm not gonna question it. I mean, it looks like a bird, just not one that I can put my finger on. Well, I mean, <laughs> yeah. All right. I am. Well, I think this is going to turn out pretty, pretty cool, uh, considering we're only this far in and it already is starting to look like a bear. I'm actually really happy about that. 
so I'm just going to add. Uh, oh, that's a bit dark. Ah, eh, whatever. All right, I'm going to start uh, working on the fur underneath his mouth. Uh, because I already have the dark gray, and I don't want to use more white right now. Uh, and I noticed when I was uh, looking at pictures of bears to get this sketch that it's actually their fur curves around the bottom of their mouth, like here. Are you painting this bear for someone? Well, I'm painting it for you guys. Uh, no, it is not a gift or anything. I'm just doing it for fun because I felt the need to do some painting. I've been spending a, a lot of time you know, on the computer doing schoolwork and stuff like that, I figured uh, I needed a bit of a break. And uh, doing this is really relaxing. And I like sharing my art with you guys, so. Yeah. What kind of bear are you doing? I believe someone in the comments said it was a Kodiak bear. I'm pretty sure they were right. I'm like 90% sure they were right. So at, <laughs> right now, I'm just going to say it's a Kodiak bear. Uh, apparently they're one of the most dangerous uh, animals in the world, or most aggressive bears. I believe it's polar bears and then Kodiak bears. Oh yeah, of course. Uh, I love sharing with you guys. You're all awesome. And super uh, supportive. Super supportive as well. I don't think, well, actually that's not true. Um, I get very, very little uh hate comments and things like that everyone is super super nice and i can't explain how appreciative of you guys i am uh how much or how much i appreciate you guys so i uh, yeah, thank you guys very much i'm glad everyone could be here and hear me ramble on while i paint a bear i just bid on one of your paintings i'll check it out for more but for my sake i hope i win for your sake i hope i get outbid well thank you very much i hope you don't get outbid uh yeah but thank you very much you are uh, very kind you're all very kind i appreciate it a lot which one did you bid on oh i'm uh i'm just using a regular i don't know standard size like canvas that you can get at michael's just like right off the shelf uh it's this big i don't <laughs> i don't know the actual dimensions of it but yeah you have more likes than viewers. Yeah, I don't I don't know what's up with that. I must be losing viewers. That's all right. I'm just happy that you guys can be here. <laughs> yeah. I think uh, the reason that I have more likes and viewers right now is because either it's buffering or my life's a bit boring. But I really appreciate the likes and uh, everything like that as well, because most of the views I get are actually after the live feed. And when you like the video, uh, I get more people to watch it. Oh, hey, Dax. Uh, how's school going? Or, no, that's what he asked. Uh, how's school going? Uh, it's going really good, actually. Well, <laughs> that's a lie. It's going all right. I'm actually looking forward. I'm going back to school. Um, in like a week, going back to in-person school. Uh, but yeah, online's been interesting. Online school. I don't know. I guess we'll have to compare between online and in-person. Yeah, clear here. All right, that's good to hear. Uh, you got a lot more natural talent than 90% of people. Oh, thank you very much. Uh, I don't think that I have more natural talent than people. I just think I... Uh, uh, practice more at painting animals. Uh, I think I've said this before on a live feed, and a lot of people disagree with me, but I think everyone has the ability to paint or draw or do do what I'm doing. Uh, the only difference is uh, people learn at different rates. So where I just don't, <laughs> I never really learned, I just did it. Uh, a lot of people actually have to have to learn but in the end everyone has the ability to do exactly what i'm doing now i'm just sharing i'm basically what i'm doing is just sharing my progression uh in this medium have you ever had or have you ever tried doing linoleum block cut prints i think uh, i've heard of that before it's kind of like 
Oh, I might be wrong. Linoleum block cut prints. You just scratch it into a big block, right? And then um, and then when you put ink on top of it, you can make multiple prints of your artwork. And then you acid treat it as well. Not entirely sure if I'm right about that. But I, I looked into something uh, that sounds right. Oh, that is right. All right, good. Hmm. Let's see. What am I looking at? <laughs> I just lost all my comments. Uh, oh, yeah, they're not going back up. That's weird. Huh. Oh, there we go. Hi, other Lori. Well, I'm assuming uh, that there is a viewer named Lori that is going to... Uh, correct. Great for making greeting cards to sell. Yeah, I actually saw that. I didn't understand how it worked at first, but when you acid treat it, does that just make it so it's like, uh, does that just make the grooves deeper or does it make it so it doesn't chip? How does that work? Because I've been actually uh, considering doing something like that. I never really knew how it worked. Oh, and for, uh, for those wondering, yeah, it will be awesome to see you at school again. Yeah, I think hopefully we're going to be going to the uh, same high school. I guess I'll, I'll uh, ask you after the live feed. All right, I need to find where I put the black paint. Wow, this is great. Well, thank you very much, Mary. I'm glad you think so. I think it's turning out pretty good considering I started, oh, 30 minutes ago. It did not feel like 30 minutes went by. Huh. Well, that's fine. It's going pretty well for 30 minutes. Hmm. I've never done acid treating. That might be for copper plates? Maybe. I just, um, I watched a tutorial on YouTube, actually, about it. And uh, they mentioned acid treating. They put, like, this wash on top of it after they, uh, after they carved the block. And maybe that's not a 100% necessary thing to do. It's just something that uh, adds to it, maybe. I don't know. I guess I'll have to look it up after this. I'll get back to you guys <laughs> on what I'm supposed to be talking about. Or what I'm, what I'm talking about, not supposed to be talking about. All right. So right now I'm just working on a... There's actually a shadow. Uh, or not, not a shadow. How do I describe this? It's like a bit of an indent into their nose in the middle where the fur comes out. So that's what I'm doing right now. Just getting the base of it, really. Like so. Oh, and also I should probably get a bit of uh, shadows underneath here. Then I can move into highlights. And I'll use, um, use my little sour cream lid here to mix my highlights because there's not a whole lot of space for doing that. All right. Uh, huh. Well, I made a mess. That's all right. It's never, uh, well, I don't know. I don't know how this uh, is for other people, but I don't think I can ever make a, a painting that doesn't involve some kind of ridiculous mess. Actually, cleaning the basement recently, uh, and I somehow managed to get paint splatters, like, everywhere. I don't know how that happened. It's not like I'm flinging my brush around. <laughs> Looks like your bear has a mustache. You know what? I kind of agree. <laughs> it kind of does. I just, uh, it's because I only did that part of the fur. I should probably... Do a bit more of it, huh? Oh, what am I doing? I have the round bristle brush. That is, that's the ideal brush to use, in my opinion, for fur. In my opinion, for fur, the round bristle, round boar bristle brush is the best brush. All right. Uh, this feels more natural already. Just get little patchy patches, patchy patches uh, of fur. I apologize. That was incredibly, incredibly weird. Just little patches of uh, highlights where the fur is kind of layered like that. Uh, let's see. What animal have you enjoyed drawing or painting so far? 
Well, I'm trying to make it a mission to paint as many animals as I pleasably can, or plausibly can. I, I think I'm using the wrong word there. Um, as I possibly can. Uh, and see where that goes. I'm probably not going to... Well, I, I, I already started drawing bugs too because I ran out of animals. Or exotic ones anyway. I drew a, dogs and cats. Uh, let's see. Bears. I did a zebra. Lions. Tigers. Uh, I'm not going to keep going because it's actually... Oh, excuse me. A relatively long list. But you kind of get the gist. Um, are there any animals that you guys would actually uh, like to see? I've been kind of stuck on birds actually recently. Maybe that's my favorite favorite animal or yeah, animal to draw. It's birds. Maybe you can paint an otter. Actually, yeah, otters are very cute. I might do one of those. Hmm. I was thinking um <laughs> at the beginning of my YouTube career when TikTok was just coming out. Uh, for those who don't know, TikTok is like a, an app. I'm pretty sure everyone knows what it is, but I'll explain it even though I probably don't need to. It's an app where you basically just scroll through really short videos of people doing stuff. And I really considered making an account on there until I realized how little artists there are on there that I could find. Uh, except the people who did like their videos, they're super talented, but their videos are only like 10 seconds long. So you can't really take time to appreciate it. Uh, so I kind of shied away from that. But I've been thinking of starting it up again. You guys let me know if you think I should uh, do a TikTok account or make a TikTok account. All right, let's see. What did Matthew say? Oh, let's see. What about fish? He hasn't drawn me yet. I'm, I'm an animal. Well, a fox. oh yeah. Oh, I did actually do a fox. What are you talking about? It's a. Oh, I didn't do a YouTube video. Never mind. <laughs> I did do a fox though, and it's actually. And this is a great segue, or not? Not a great segue. I take it back. Uh, it's actually in the auction. So, uh, you know, if anyone wants to buy it, uh, it's there. It has um. <laughs> gave it cat eyes is the only problem it has like you know like the stinker cat eyes you know when the cat's about to like attack you or it's giving you the stink eye because cats tend to do that for no reason that's what it looks like it's doing it's not what i was going for but that's what i got we'll see yes i was wondering uh do you get fan mail and if you do do you open it on air i do sometimes get fan mail actually yeah and uh, right now, what I'm using, or my paints, are from uh, are from a subscriber. Believe it or not, I think I mentioned it in my last live feed. Yes, mom. Yes. What? Oh, okay. Usually, when that door opens, <laughs> I get a I get a little message, or not a message. My mom will tell me something that I forgot, like I missed a chat. All right. Usually I, I'm on top of them. That's a lie. I'm, I'm not. <laughs> All right. I think, uh, well, I can't. I, uh, well, it involves a lot of sorting. A sorting that I'm avoiding by doing this live feed. Uh, Steven's got work for a bit. Uh, I believe, yeah, that's the... That should be the auction. All right. Just gonna just gonna add some highlights here. And I think since it's already 30 minutes in, I'm probably gonna have to do a part two. I guess we'll see though. We'll see how it goes. All right. I'm actually gonna sit down because this whole time, even though I have a chair, I've been standing which I probably shouldn't have been doing. It's much more uncomfortable, but, you know, whatever. Uh, I'll live. Probably shouldn't complain. Just get some fur. Fur isn't too hard, actually. You just have to 
make little patches, like almost a pattern where the fur is like layering on top of itself. It's not too hard uh, once you get into a rhythm, I think. Then again, if you get into too much of a rhythm, then it looks like it's a weird patterny thing. It's a it's a whole thing, weird patterny thing. I am not very good. Uh, if you want things that never made it to YouTube, I used to have a Facebook page, but it didn't get a lot of uh, didn't get a lot of traffic, so I switched to Instagram. I'm getting a, a bit more people on there. Is it ever buffering tonight? Well, I can't tell. I, uh, I can't tell on my end if it's buffering, but I'm sorry if it is. <laughs> yeah, I've had a lot of internet problems actually recently. So that would be the reason it's buffering. Kind of frustrating, but what am I going to do about it? Buffering. Yeah. Well, um, yeah. And that's that's been a pretty big problem tonight. I might actually, I might actually end the live uh, a bit early, buffering kind of. I might actually end the live a bit early, uh, if it gets any worse, and I can try again tomorrow. I guess we'll have to see. All right. So I, what I'm doing right now is um, adding extra shadows because. What I plan to do after this is add like super bright highlights with this like a fine paintbrush. I don't know how to describe uh, what I, what I'm trying to say. Very fine highlights with a super fine paintbrush. Speaking of which, I don't know where I put it, and it's not underneath this. Ah, whatever. This live feed is doing interestingly i'm glad you guys could all be here by the way uh i know it's not on the right day that i did this and it's also during the upload time or during when my dad is uploading so uh really grateful for everyone being here oh and my live feed completely completely froze that's a little annoying I can't tell if you guys can see me, but I cannot see myself. Oh, okay, we're back. And Michelle, oh, a puppy skin. I actually heard about that. Uh, they will, people will be pretending to sell a dog online. And then when you click on it, they either don't ever, they never send the puppy or they spam you with ads. Okay, you can see me. That's good. Yeah, I heard about that. Oh, I'm actually a uh, interesting uh, conversation I had with an online group recently is about how there's a there's this theory going around. Uh, theory I personally don't don't really uh, believe, but you know it's uh, where people think that everyone is like living in a simulation, which you know I, I don't know I don't know about that, but. If that is true, whoever is in charge of it must genuinely hate Canadians, especially like where I am, because today, like literally today, uh, or yesterday and today, we had um, like a really warm day, and it like, like all day it was super warm, and then just right at the end, when I wanted to, when I wanted to get outside and go for a bike ride and like do something outside it started to like blizzard and right now like all the snow is gone again so <laughs> i don't know what's going on but i hate it and it's really annoying spring spring in canada it can't decide whether it's going to be ridiculously cold or just meh weather i saw people post about it snowing yeah, it snowed quite a lot. You know, I like the snow and all, but like when you're expecting to go on like a, like I don't know, a bike ride or enjoy the outdoors and it randomly starts blizzarding and you have to stay inside, 
it's not nice. Like, I'm pretty sure Charlie Brown, you know, the sad Christmas music, that turns on in my head when that happens. I just sit there, the disappointment. Uh, well, I'm glad that it's uh, gone now, but hopefully it doesn't come back for a while because I do eventually want to ride my bike around a bit and go outside. Yeah. All right. Let's see. It looks realistic. Well, I'm glad to think, or I'm glad to hear that you think so. That is exactly what I was going for. All right. I don't know. <laughs> okay. So if I just randomly go silent, just assume. There's a lot going through my brain where I'm like censoring myself, making sure I don't talk about something really dumb on a live feed in front of 70 people. <laughs> uh, well, I think, uh, I think that might be worse than saying something stupid at this point. All right. I am. I'm going to just use this whole thing. Oh, by the way, I'm, mixing a, a dark gray on this almost palette and I'm going to use it add some extra shadows especially on the nose I think I added a bit too much but I'll just uh, add a highlight to separate the nostril from the side of his nose I uh, just wanted it to be a bit darker so you can actually tell the difference between his nose and the rest of his face because it shouldn't be the same color Oh, and by the way, what I'm doing right now is adding a dark layer first, then the highlights after. Uh, I know uh, at the beginning I said I was going to do highlights, then the dark bit, but I don't want to do that. You were just thinking very hard. No, I think so. Say my name, please. Hmm. No. I don't want to mess it up, but also because I'm mean. Let's see. Soha Arangzeb. Uh, uh, Did I get it? I don't know. Uh, I probably shouldn't have read that comment out because now I just sound like I'm an idiot and I can't read. Uh, whatever. I tried to say your name. Does that count? Kind of counts. I'm going to say it counts. I need to. Oh, thank you very much, by the way. I said I saw someone saw. Our, OK, I need to think before I speak. I saw someone say that they like the red canvas and I thought so as well. It's kind of like a corally color. I really like uh, coral, coral colors now. Uh, maybe it's a bit of my my mom in me. She really likes coral colors as well. I think they're one of her favorite colors. Like when, uh, whenever she would buy a purse, it was coral, <laughs> almost in this exact, exact uh, orangey red color. Oh well, let's see. I think this is a different person. Uh, names are difficult for everyone. They definitely are, especially, especially for me. All right, I am adding highlights now to the top of his nose. His snout. Let's see. The red reminds me of a wildfire. Yeah, that's that's kind of like the vibe it's been getting. I was either going to do red or blue, but I chose red. And I guess it has like a little unintentional, but a uh, little meaning behind it now. Most of my paintings uh, have some kind of meaning behind it. Like, but... Uh, <laughs> But the meaning usually is like really dumb. So when people are like, oh, I, I understand why you chose the these colors. And they're like talking about like the meaning behind my painting and it sounds really professional. <laughs> I just go with that meaning. I'm like, yeah, that's definitely what I meant. It is not. You guys are better at understanding my art than I am at understanding it myself. Cool art. Well, thank you very much. I like the red. Uh, me too. I like pencil drawings.
Yeah, I really like uh, doing pencil drawings as well. This actually originally was a pencil drawing, but I painted on top of it uh, because I didn't like it. Same bear, except, uh, you know, it was drawn in pencil. Most of my uh, paintings actually have a secret uh, painting. Well, not really a secret painting, but a painting underneath it that I uh, stopped halfway through. And I thought uh, I can use this canvas in a more uh, more useful way, a better way. All right, I'm just, what I'm doing is using my finger to smudge the paint a bit. So I can see more of the dark underneath, like so. All right, what, am, what should I use? Well, I should... Oh, yeah, I should be using my oil pastels, which I brought here specifically uh, for using it in this on this painting. But I don't think I brought uh, a white. I didn't. I always put it in this jar. This is the worst trying to find any colors in here and get the right color out because you have to dump the whole thing in your hand. Uh, well, you know what? I'll live. Uh, you're never late just here at a different time. Yeah. Uh, is that directed to me? I can't tell. Maybe. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. No, it, it might have been directed to me because my live feed said I was meant to go on at 7. I actually did post and I said 7.30, but not a lot of people saw it. Uh, so that might have been the, the confusion. I just put my hand on my painting. Huh. That is not what I meant to do. There we go. Right, let's see. Hello from Nova Scotia. You're such a talented young man. I love your work. Well, thank you very much. Oh, someone came in the chat late. Okay. Yeah, no, you. no one is uh, ever late to the live feed. I don't think I've ever joined a live feed right at the beginning. Oh, that's probably because I don't have notifications on. <laughs> you know what? That gives me an idea. I'm going to segue into another really uh, crappy self-promotion. You know, if you want to if you want to put the notification bell on, you can come here really early. You know, see me <laughs> see me stumble over my words and try to come up with conversations. I don't know. Especially at the beginning of live feeds, I always have a hard time coming up with uh, something to talk about because <laughs> I kind of just start it and then figure out what I'm going to talk about past that. I do have an Instagram. It's uh, Stephen Draws with a Z and no space between Stephen and Draws. This is that is or I think I mentioned this before, but that is where uh, all of my paintings go. Uh, that don't reach YouTube. I actually have quite a lot of paintings uh, on there. So if you want to see a lot of my other paintings, feel free to go to there. Uh, let's see. I'm colorblind, so I don't really see the pop, but the red, or in the red, but that's fine. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, uh, well, that's all right. Uh, what was I going to say? Probably something dumb. Let's just assume I was going to say something dumb. Because <laughs> I probably was. All right, so this is what we have so far. I think it's turning out all right. I'm just going to add highlights in the fur. Hello from Surrey, BC. Well, hello. All right, so I'm just going to move directly into doing highlights because I want it to want it to look more realistic as fast as possible. Uh, I was buffering and now I'm back. Not sure if you could hear my buffering song, but there was a buffering song. Kick me out of my own live feed. It's kind of annoying. Are you going to get the car your parents got at the house they bought? No. Uh, oh, you know, I probably shouldn't have talked about that. All right. Well, uh, you got to watch the video. I can't really comment on that, but... Uh, I believe that car is already sold. That's as much as I can say. Oh, I can see uh, 
Soha. I'm not going to try to re-pronounce your uh, last name because I will genuinely have a hard time pronouncing it. But uh, uh, started following me on Instagram. Well, thank you for the, thank you for the follow. Excuse me. My voice is mighty cracky today. I uh, love your vids from the Philippines. Well, I'm, uh, thank you very much. I'm glad you enjoy. I try to make them interesting. Usually they come out as half interesting, but mostly weird. But I guess that's what you guys are used to. So I'm going to stop, or I stopped trying to be normal now. Uh, you guys might have noticed, actually, um, I've been testing the waters a bit recently uh, regarding the whole, you know, YouTube live thing. Uh, well, you know, with you guys, <laughs> I've been saying weirder and weirder things, seeing how you guys react. I haven't said anything bad yet, but I feel like it's only, it's only fair that I do say something incredibly weird sometime during this live feed. I'm just getting a, a white highlight. Like so. I need it to maybe point, uh, yeah, it'll curve like that and then point this way past that point on its face. I don't know why. That's just kind of how I decided it should look. Uh, we need to hear the song, Stephen. Oh, no. Uh, <laughs> fine. If I see someone that is, like, actually having problems buffering, I'll sing the buffering song. But until then... I refuse. Nice art. Well, thank you very much. Art boy. Uh, art boy Ashish. You would know. You are the art boy. <laughs> Let me load my head. All right. Yes, I did load my head. How did you get that? Oh, is that um? That's an emoji that you can get on YouTube, I believe, right? Or on the YouTube lives only. I was so confused how you got the actual pinwheel emoticon i'm fancy i didn't say emoji i said emoticon let's see ah the leg hmm oh no it's buffering i feel like oh you guys would uh, my own audience wouldn't lie to me would they <laughs> i'm a little afraid to sing the buffering song if i'm being completely honest because it is really and I mean, really dumb. <laughs> All right. If I buffer again in this, uh, if I buffer again in this live feed and like it, it kicks me out of the thing again, I'll have to sing the buffering song. <laughs> Oop, you froze for a sec. Huh. You're, but I feel like, you know, I feel like. That might not be true. <laughs> not lying. Wait, am I actually buffering? I don't want to be like laughing at you guys and calling you liars. If you... <laughs> am I actually buffering right now? Your voice is glitching. We like the dumb songs. Huh. Oh, I'm fine. Huh. My parents are telling me that I'm fine. You guys wouldn't have been trying to trick me right that doesn't sound like something my own followers would do not buffering here oh it might actually people are actually having it buffer all right i couldn't tell i was uh it's because i was negotiating with you guys about the buffering song what can i say i got trust issues sorry guys <laughs> all right we're just teasing you. Just wanted you to sing. Well, it's not a good song. It's it's like a. It's how you would imagine, like you know how a a kindergarten teacher would sing to kids about like the sit down song or the, like the clean up. It's like that, except worse. Clean up song. You know, clean up, clean up. That one. That's the kind of tune it had. Just imagine something weird. All right. I'm actually um, really excited for the option to go through. Hopefully, uh, hopefully I can get enough to actually afford to get my license and start driving to school. Money. Well, that's all right. 
Let's see. Oh, I'm going to read this comment right here. Is that where your writing comes from? <laughs> your mom teaches you. Yeah, I guess my mom is a preschool teacher. That probably is where where it comes from. She will occasionally play like just like a preschool song to bug us in the house. Uh, the main song she bugs me with, though, and a lot of people really like this song, so don't hate me if uh, when I say this, but the main song she bugs me with is the song Happy uh, by, you know, what, what's this? What, who's it by? Uh, it's a song from Despicable Me, where it goes like, because I'm happy. Oh, I can only think of Gru and Minions dancing to it whenever I hear it. Ugh. Sing, huh? Hmm. I'm just going to pretend I don't see that comment. I refuse. I probably shouldn't have said it. Like, hmm. Okay. That, I almost said something really dumb. I'm glad I stopped myself. I wasn't intending on it to sound dumb, but it would have been bad. <laughs> I'm just going to segue into a different conversation. Ugh, excuse me. <laughs> Before I say something actually bad. Farrell Williams. Yeah, you know, a lot of people really like that song, but I, I don't know. I, I guess it's too too upbeat for me. I'm going to listen to, like, death metal. <laughs> I don't know. I actually don't listen to a lot of music besides, like, I guess it's kind of jazz. Uh, I don't know. There's a few songs that are like, that I really like. Actually, one that I would definitely recommend to you, uh, to you guys, uh, if you're into like alternative kind of old style music, it's called Freaking Out the Neighborhood by Mac DeMarco or Mac DeMarco. Uh, either way, really, really good song. I actually quite enjoy it. But yeah. If you ever bored, uh, I'm cutting out. Uh, well, I'm not sure. Not sure if uh, if it has something to do with my Wi-Fi right now. I actually nice art. Well, thank you very much. Oh, actually, I have a question for you guys. When someone says OP, I know it means the, the person who posted, but what does OP actually mean? What does OP mean? I see it a lot on Reddit, uh, where someone will call the, the person who posted uh, OP. Original poster, okay. I, I saw someone say overpowered. That is true. That is a, that's a gaming term. I used to say that, like, when, uh, when I used to, well, I don't really play it anymore, but when I used to play, uh, what's it called? Fortnite. It came out new. Uh, and my friends would say OP a lot, and I actually had to look up what it meant. It's too bad it's uh, not as popular anymore. I stopped playing it in, like, it's, like, two months after it came out. Well, didn't really get into it. All right. Original poster. All right. Is he a grizzly? I think he's, uh, actually, is a Kodiak bear a grizzly bear? I can't. Is it, like, the same thing? They just have different names? I can never tell. Does, he have, does the Edmonton area have bad Wi-Fi? Or is it because of where you guys are in the area? I think it's because of where I am in the, in the area, Edmonton area, because we don't have fiber optic put in or 5G or anything like that. We're just kind of stuck in a, a really bad internet internet zone. Okay. I apologize for that loud banging. Uh. I am just trying to get the dry paint out of this brush. That's what I decided to do. And probably wasn't a good idea. Was add more white paint. Because I'm trying to get more shadows. Steven is only 16. Let's see. Let's see. Is that the son of Andy Griffin's show? Maybe. The son of an Andy Griffin. Maybe. I'm not entirely sure. My brain fizzled out a little bit there. I don't know if that happens to everyone else, but, like, I'll just randomly zone out. I probably have, like, <laughs> probably have, like, a lot going on in my mind right now. 
That's my excuse. <laughs> ah, whatever. My brain just randomly phases out. It's like, nope, I'm done. You have to move on to something else. Let's see. Kodiak bear is different from a grizzly bear. Oh, okay. Uh, Kodiak bears are the largest brown bear comparable in size to polar bears. Oh, all right. So that's that's why it's considered one of the most dangerous bears because polar bears are the most dangerous bears if you ever come into contact with them. The only reason they're not like high on the super dangerous list is because no one ever sees them. Uh, apparently, and this is a weird fact that I figure I should share with you guys, is um, polar bears are the only bears that will actively hunt humans for food. Other bears just, like, attack us if they're, like, super threatened, but polar bears are, like, malicious. They don't like us at all. They'll actually try to eat us. Well, maybe they like us as food. Uh, someone said, you're old, so I told them your age. Oh, I see. Yeah, I didn't see the comment, so I wasn't sure. Yeah, I uh, just turned 16 this January, actually. Oh, okay. Thank you. Uh, thanks for joining the live, Soha. I confronted a brown bear in... Oh, let's see. Matthew says, I confronted a brown bear in the uh, Pocono Mountains. Really? You saw, like, one face-to-face. -face. That, that must have been scary. I see... Uh, well, <laughs> I can't say I, I know what it's like to see a bear... The only place I've ever actually seen a bear is at my grandma's farm, and it's like it was like far away. It was just at the fence, was, and they don't seem very big from far away, but they're huge, and apparently they're like really fast too. Sixteen, but you're better at painting than me. Well, that's not necessarily true. I don't think there's any way to measure uh, art skill. I know I sound like I sound like a nerd. Oh, that's because I am. Uh, there's no way to measure art skill. It's all in how you show or how you uh, get your name out there. There's actually $10,000 or, or more. There's actually multi-million dollar paintings uh, that are basically just, you know, splattered paint on a canvas. Might have taken them 10 minutes to make. But if you, if you sell it really well, uh, your art or you'll be considered like a high-end artist. Like, even Banksy, who I really look up to, uh, he did an experiment where he gave his art to a street vendor and he sold it there or at, or he, okay, just a second. Let me recollect my th thoughts. Let me recollect my thoughts. Uh, he uh, gave it to a street vendor to sell and they sold for $60 a piece because he was trying to prove that uh, art quality doesn't matter as much as getting your name out there. Now, I'm not necessarily, I'm not, it's not like I'm saying I'm going to just stop uh, putting an effort into my art quality, but I'm saying uh, anyone can be a good artist and anyone can get paid for it as long as you get your name out there and as long as you're known. Let's see. I was backpacking in Yosemite. Or is it pronounced Yosemite or Yosemite? Because uh, I watch a lot of you, uh, Looney Tunes and they call them Yosemite Sam, but... Yosemite? I'm just going to call it Yosemite. Uh, and bears checked out our food up in the tree. Oh, let's see. Yeah. Wait. Okay. What was I about to say? Something about bears. Oh, yeah. So, um, apparently, it's, it's, like, really common for people to run into bears at campgrounds. But they're, like, so scared of humans that they'll, like, immediately run. So, like, I don't know. I guess, uh, oh, I missed a super chat. I'm all over the place today, aren't I? Can I get an awa awa? That, uh, that, that's an angry little dog. Uh, for those who don't know, it's the awa awa dog is um, an angry little chihuahua <laughs> named Pudgy. And he, he says, uh, awa awa, like gets really mad. It's pretty cute. Uh, the bear is looking good. Here's something to use for fuel. Thank you very much to... Uh, Rapid S444, or Rapids444. I don't know why I read it like that, but thank you very much. Hey, Stephen A., we have the, we have the same name, Yosemite. 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 I don't know. I'm probably, I was, even though you gave me the right way to say it, probably managed to say it wrong anyway. 
Uh, whatever. All right, let's see. Uh, yes, hanging food up in a tree to keep away from the bears in the back country. Oh, okay. Yeah, it was a, a bit of spam. I just thought I'd give context to it. If you, okay. So I never really get mad at spam. It's a little annoying when you're trying to read other comments or when other people are trying to comment, but <laughs> I actually got banned off of a, a YouTube channel for spamming uh, because I was so focused on getting them to see the comment that I was posting. Like I was like, oh, the answer is this. The answer is this. I wasn't like uh, control or copy pasting it really fast in, but <laughs> still managed to get banned. Uh, National Park in California. No spam survives here. Yeah, I noticed that actually. Thank you very much. Uh, nice art. I appreciate that. All right, I'm going to add a little highlight on his eye for fun also because I felt it was necessary. I guess that's why everyone does everything because they feel it's necessary. I guess there's a, also exceptions to that. Whatever. I'm not <laughs> not entirely sure what I'm talking about. I must be really tired of something today because I have no idea what I keep rambling on about. Just whatever I feel I want to want to bring up. Hmm. All right. So I'm just going to back up the camera a bit so you guys can see what I what I have right now. Sick art man, never give up. Thank you very much. Uh, I, I don't know. I'm going to mess up your name. Nathan, I, I apologize, but thank you very much. Uh, I, re I really appreciate it. Oh, I uh, forgot. Or I forgot to mention in my last live feed up. We're thinking about when we put the coffee shop up, we're thinking about actually letting me do a mural in there. And my dad wants a peacock done. So a picture of a peacock. And I think that'll be really fun to do. Or really interesting. Maybe I didn't forget. Feels like I might have. Let's see. Looks awesome. Thank you very much. Oh, let's see. That's cool art. Not going to lie, bro. Thank you very much. I truly appreciate it. You guys are all super supportive. Whenever I look at the chat, I, I'm getting like compliments thrown at, or not thrown, not thrown at me. Uh, compliments gifted to me left and right. And I cannot, I cannot explain how appreciative I am for everyone here. Cause you know, you guys didn't have to be here. Although I appreciate everyone being here. It's a lot easier. And this is a quote from, uh, one of my favorite comedians, John Mulaney, you guys probably know him, but, uh, it's a lot easier not being here than it is to be here. And the fact that you guys are all here is truly remarkable. And th <laughs> thank you very much. Uh, are you rolling coins? And that was a question to my mom. No, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna give anything away. But, uh, well, let's see. Do you need PayPal to donate money? I actually don't know. You got, oh, don't feel pressured to donate money, by the way. You might need PayPal to donate money. I'm pretty sure you just have to put your credit card in. Again, thank you very much. I appreciate it. I've never actually donated money on this account before. I've donated a, or I put like a little sticker thing, like, you know, where it dances in front of a streamer's stream. Uh, but besides that, I haven't really had to figure that out. Not really dances in front of, but you know, It'll like read your message out loud. Let's see. Uh, I have online class, so I'll go and check up on you in the next stream. Keep it up. Thank you very much. Yeah. Uh, online class is uh, always a bit, a bit of a struggle. So good luck. Yeah. I'm glad that I, uh, that I got the teachers that I did for my online class. I don't know if my art teacher watches any of my videos, but uh, you know, if you do, Mr. G, not going to say your last name just in case you don't want me to. Uh, you are one of the best art teachers I could have uh, possibly had for online uh, school. 
He's a really nice guy, actually. All right, let's see. There's a place in New Hampshire called Clark's Trading Post. They have five large black bears that do an in uh, that do in a cage bear show with a bear handler in the cage, and it's the closest I've ever been to a bear. I've never heard of that before. That's crazy. Oh, thank you very much, Matthew. Spam, spam, spam. Thank you. I, I, oh, I'm stuttering a lot. I need to collect my thoughts again. I don't know what's up with me today, but I'm on a roll. Wow, that was crazy. Yeah, let's see. Unless there are two bears working as a team. All right, I, I am missing out on something. Oh, don't ruin the eye with red. No, I didn't add red to the eye, actually. It's just not done yet. Don't worry. Um, yeah. The red in the eye is just the background sticking through, actually. The only red I'm probably going to be adding is uh, just to touch up the sides if I feel necessary or if I feel that's necessary. This is actually a very similar... Oh, shoot. I just dropped this on myself. I'm going to turn the camera around really quick. You might be able to see the little paint circle on me. Ah, you probably can't. Whatever. Let's see. All right. <laughs> yeah, I dropped. Yeah, you can, you can barely see it because the rest of my apron is a mess. I dropped this on myself while I was talking. Let's see. YouTube cut is 30% of the super chat. Yeah, I think so. I get 70% of everything you guys send me. So if you send me like, I don't know, say $10 and I'll get $7, which is still pretty fair. Kind of. It's pretty fair. Uh, since I think YouTube might be a potential job for me for a little bit anyway. And I really, I'm really I'm grateful for you guys. Uh, actually, what you're doing right now is helping me uh, achieve my dream to hopefully one day become a professional artist. Yeah, either that or an astrophysicist, but hopefully a professional artist. I've been uh, getting really into theoretical science recently. There's a YouTube channel that I watch. It's called like Chris against science. I don't, I don't know how to pronounce it. Uh, but they like talk about like uh, theoretical, you know, what would happen if this or this happened. They actually did a really interesting uh, video about black holes and white holes, which were the opposite of black holes, because apparently someone saw like, or they've recorded that black holes have been seen actually ejecting matter from it so they think it's like what happens when black holes die i just thought that was really interesting oh uh, let's see what is this oil paint it is not actually it's acrylic paint it's really high quality acrylic paint it's basically oil i want to shade like that well thank you very much uh i appreciate that you look up to my shading abilities <laughs> All I'm doing is using a round brush with like dry gray paint in it. <laughs> okay, this is gonna be kind of loud, but this is actually how I load my brush. I don't even have to be careful about it. I just have to like <laughs> get the br uh, bristles from sticking to each other. Oh, got out of focus a bit because I shook the camera too much. Uh, all right, there we go. So, that's how I load the brush and how I get all the bristles from sticking to each other, which is uh, pretty important for this one anyway. I actually had this bristle, has, or bristle, this brush has been through so much. I actually had uh, paint dry in this and uh, like a lot of paint, like this much amount of paint dry in it. And I actually had to chip it out with, a, with an actual, or what's it called? What do you use to, it's like a palette knife but like for drywall, putty knife. I used a putty knife to like chop it out. It's really cool now. Well, I'm glad you think so. It was not, <laughs> it was not doing so good at the beginning, but I think I'm fixing it with all the highlights. Or at least I'm trying, trying. I think I should do a reacting or not a reacting, but trying a, 
popular art hacks. I think that'll be kind of interesting. If I did like uh, trying, uh, yeah, trying art hacks or whatever people are trying to, or actually, okay. What was I saying? Well, oh yeah, okay. So there's these videos on the internet where people will show little art tricks that help your paintings or your drawings go along a lot easier. And uh, I've been watching them and I think I could totally get, <laughs> I could totally get some money from that. Uh, I could definitely make a video on that. What do you guys think? I've been here since just after the start and it's come so far. Well, I'm glad you think so. It was not good at the start at all. Let's see. Did you read Brian Greene, Stephen? I did not. Oh, do you read Brian Greene? I did not, but I should probably check him out. Hmm. Oh, next quarter, since we're doing a quarterly school where we do like two subjects every two months and then we switch. Uh, next quarter, I think I will be taking physics. So that should be fun. I hear a lot of people genuinely dislike it, but you know, <laughs> I'll just make the best of it. I'm only a little bit scared. All right, I'm just going to smudge it across because blending is too hard. I apologize. That was incredibly, incredibly weird. All right. I'm definitely going to have to do a part two. I'm not uh, done yet, but I will eventually have to do a part two. <laughs> I don't know why I felt the need to repeat myself, but I did. And again, I am actually, what I'm using is a, a plastic dollar store brush to do this. It works really well. Uh, wow, too bad U.S. schools aren't doing that. That sounds just right. Yeah, it's nice. It's a nice system, the quarterly system that I was just uh, talking about. But uh, it's a little bit overwhelming. Just a little bit, because uh, if you miss a class, it's like missing a week. So we cover like three subjects or three topics in one day. We have to go like super fast. That's the only problem I have with it. That's actually why I'm going back in person because I'm having a really hard time uh, <laughs> digesting all of this information. Uh, people have found in person to be a lot easier in Edmonton or in Canada anyway, from what I had uh, my friends tell me. I guess that is... Uh, just an opinion from a couple people. I guess we'll have to see. So, so far, I don't think, I don't think this is turning out so bad. I might actually sell this one. Oh, my Lanta. Why that look like a logo? It kind of does. I think this, if this turns out good, I might actually make this, uh, might actually make this my profile picture. Actually, maybe not. What I'm thinking, uh, I might do a realistic chicken picture, and I'll make it all doodly. Uh, doodly. That's an interesting word. Don't know if it's actually a word. Like, uh, hold on. Like that. I want a chicken that's like that. This is actually one of my favorite drawings I've ever done. And I think it's just because it's so simple. Yeah. All right, I got it. Hair is in my eye. Didn't even notice. I even did my hair with gel right before this, so that didn't happen, and it happened anyway. I'd buy it if I had the money. Well, actually, my paintings don't sell for, a, like, a crazy amount. I try not to, oh, especially when I do commissions, I try not to make them uh, super expensive for people because uh, I like to share my art with everyone. So if you, like, most, most commissions that I do are actually under $80, and I'll do a painting like this for you, like this, this is probably, I don't know, unless it goes up for auction. I would probably sell this for like $80, $70 if you guys, uh, or if it would sell for that, you know. But I think it's turning out pretty good so far. Uh, you guys let me know what you think. I need to add more black. There we go. I need more shadows, then I can add highlights. I'm glad uh, that I actually found a little system that works for me. Uh, usually what I do is I will panic or not panic, but I'll like stumble through an art piece until I find a, or I get into a flow where I actually get 
somewhere with the painting. What kind of bear? This is a Kodiak bear. Let's see. I'll move where I am to go learn at the art you. Okay. Uh, I will move where I am to go learn at the art you act. Okay, the art that I uh, that I do. I'm a little bit confused, but I am assuming that means uh, you want to learn where I learned, potentially. Uh, it's a little, uh, when I type fast, that's how most of my comments uh, look as well. But yeah, I actually am self-taught. I, uh, I, I just took grade 10, 11, and I'm taking grade 12 AP art, which is the advanced program art all in one year to, or this year. Uh, auto spell plus I just had my second vaccine shot. Uh, lead a little low. Oh, the vaccine shot. Yeah, some people, uh, when they get needles, feel a bit dizzy. I actually get that. When I got my flu shot, I felt kind of dizzy and I was out of it for the rest of the day. And it was kind of weird, actually. I had a bit of a quick story for you guys. Um, when... Uh, on the day we had our vaccines in school, I believe it was in grade nine, I actually almost got, I almost got a in-school suspension because I was late for class. Uh, so I was like arguing really hard with the guy because he was uh, very strict. Like if you were late to his class at all, he would call your parents, he would call your teachers, he would call the army, you know, a bit of an exaggeration, but you know what I mean. So when I was late, because I, you know, I had to take my shot. In a, during class, during class time, it's not like I was skipping. Uh, he was getting ready to like <laughs> basically get me kicked out. I could see like the fire in his eyes, and I tried to like beg him for mercy. And I was like super out of it too. So when we had our lesson today, I didn't like finish my work. <laughs> I felt like if he could have, he might have killed me. Might have. Let's see. Oop. I, oh, I almost accidentally blocked you. I apologize. I tapped on your comment to try to slow it down so I could read it. And then it said, are you sure you want to block this person? And that would have been bad. Let's see. I think vague smoke patterns in the background would be awesome. Yeah, I'm definitely, definitely considering doing that. I think I might actually uh, do that as soon as I finish the bear. This live feed is actually going on a lot longer than my usual ones, but since I have, uh, since it's going so well, I think I might just keep doing what I'm doing. Let's see. Uh, let's see. What did I miss? Uh, you, YouTube has a setting for autocorrect, but I don't remember exactly where it is. Ah, uh, yeah. I should definitely get that. I wish I had a, the ability to turn off my autocorrect, although it, it has saved me in, a, in the past. It has caused me more grief than, uh, oh, excuse me, more grief than help. I always have to repeat my, uh, my sentences. And for some reason, like, I don't know why uh, Siri, or not Siri, but I don't know why the program can't understand, like, when I say you up. I'm not trying to say you, yo, <laughs> but it, it auto corrects to that so easily. And for some, like I can say interesting with an F at the end and it won't auto correct that. But if I say up, it'll auto correct it to yo. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe that's me. Uh, seven minute warning, seven minute warning for what? What am I, what am I at seven minutes for? Uh, you only have five minutes left before I have to kick you off. Oh, <laughs> I see. Hmm. Well, that's fine. I guess I'll, I'll definitely be doing a part two then. I got mom. I got parented on my own live feed. Ah, uh, whatever. All right. Oh, thank you very much. Uh, Jojo art, uh, 99. Uh, I really appreciate it. All right. So I'm just going to add the shadows really quickly. And I think. If I get off of school a bit early tomorrow, I might actually be able to do this uh, tomorrow night. So uh, stay tuned. I'm just going to do this really quickly because I have I have to. You know when you start something and you really don't want to you don't want to put it down. I don't know. It's kind of like when uh, 
how I would imagine people who like binge watch a series. It's kind of like that for me with art. I've never binge watched anything except almost Tiger K. That was a really interesting documentary. But besides that, yeah, that's just how I would imagine uh, my art to be. Because when I start, I absolutely cannot. Almost 1 p.m. for you. Jeez. Huh. And you just said it was 11. Was I on for almost two hours? Oh, I was on for 86 minutes. Huh. Let's see. Okay, thanks again. Looks great. And uh, thank you, Matthew. Good night, all. Madness Monday is tomorrow. Oh, wait, was that? Oh, yeah, Madness Monday is tomorrow. Yeah. All right. I am. I should probably get off. Okay, so this is what we have so far. Little bear. I'm going gonna, gonna to pick this up. Turn the camera around really quick. <laughs> oh, hold on. I'm getting the hair out of my face as fast as I can. I really don't want that there. All right, flip the camera around. I'll hold up the painting that we have so far. Whoops. Hmm. All right. So this is our little Kodiak brown bear. I think it looks pretty cool. And uh, yeah, I guess stay tuned because we'll be finishing this guy tomorrow. So until next time, bye. Oh, I almost missed a super chat. You got me right at the last moment. Not bye yet then. I'm going to read that. Uh, you're very talented or you are very talented and a nice young man. Thank you very much. And this is a great note for me to end off the live feed. So thank you guys all very much for being here. I really appreciate it. Uh, tune in tomorrow, I believe, or whenever the next live feed is. I'll uh, let you know. Uh, and until next time, bye.